Let's start in a seated position today. Just allow yourself to get those sitting bones slightly behind you, spine lifting up toward the crown. And oh, don't forget, we're creatures of habit. Switch those legs around so that they're in your non-habitual position. Getting everything aligned, the core active, supporting your spine, the shoulders relaxing down. And just close your eyes a moment, centering inward. Take the deep breath in. Exhale, just blowing out gently through the mouth. <clears throat> Letting all the stress and tension exhale. And then bringing your right hand in front of your nose. Take the thumb into that nostril. Press it just gently. And then exhale and inhale out of the left nostril. And then put the little finger and, and or ring finger on the right left nostril. Lifting your thumb. Exhale and inhale on the right side. And just keep alternating that. Exhaling and inhaling, just slowly allowing your breath, your body, just to come into calm awareness of your breath. Just a few times at your own pace. Shoulders relaxed, body relaxed, mind relaxed. Just letting go of tension. And the next time you exhale, just release your hand back down into your lap, keeping that breath slow and steady as you focus just on the breath. Take a deep breath in. One more long, slow exhalation through your lips. And then as you inhale, just opening your eyes, keeping that sense of calm. I'm going to begin bringing the chin down into that throat center dot, indentation at the base of your throat. Feel your neck begin stretching. And then just keep exhaling all the way down and into that spine, rounding, just bringing your head forward as far as it wants to go. And then as you begin inhaling, start at the bottom of your spine and just rise slowly all the way back up. As you get to the top, just lift your chin slightly, not too much, allow your Round you slightly back, lift your heart a little bit more, drop those shoulders, shoulder blades toward your lips. And then again, exhaling, chin into the throat center, lengthening the back of your neck and the back of your spine as you bow forward, exhaling. Just long, slow exhalation. And as you begin again, inhaling, wind back from the bottom of the spine all the way up. Just a slight lift to the chin, a lot higher lift to the heart. Push your head slightly back. Keep those shoulders relaxed. And then inhale, coming straight up. Just feel the body in that calm, centered place. Take a few breaths, relaxing. Switch your legs just so we get a little bit of balance through the lower body. Bring one hand to the side and the other arm out at shoulder level. 
Turn the palm up, bring the arm next to your ear, shoulder coming down, slide over to the side. Reach your head and hand away. Drop your elbow down if you want a little extra stretch. Keep both sitting bones, hips down toward the floor, getting those ribs stretching. Keep lengthening out through the corner. Inhale, coming back slowly up. Exhale, the arm out, palm toward the floor, and release. Feel that side a little bit more open. And let's switch the legs again so we can go to the other side. Bringing one hand in, the other arm out at shoulder level. Keep that shoulder relaxed, palm up and above your shoulder. Stretch the hand up as you slide the other one away. Again, reaching out through the head, through the fingertips. Keep the hips and sitting bones down as you slide. Bringing the elbow down if you like that extra stretch. Keep breathing, just exhaling, letting everything relax into your position. And on an inhalation, slide back up, arm out, arm toward the floor, and down. Circle the shoulders a couple of times to make sure that they're all relaxed and released. And then check which leg is either on top or in front. Bring the opposite hand to that knee. Bring the other arm out in front at shoulder level. Keep the shoulders down at the spine, stretching up through the crown. Exhale, follow your hand around toward the back. Bring your hand to the floor, close to you on the floor, and stretch from the sitting bones up towards the hip you're leaning away from, and turn a little deeper into your twist. Keep the head reaching up, the shoulders relaxing down. Just deepening as far as your body wants to go. And then again, bring the hand behind you up, shoulder level, following it back around to the center. Feel that twist energy through you, lengthening up through the crown. Switch your legs so the other ones in front are on top, so we can twist to the other side. Sitting bones slightly behind you, shoulders down. Bring your hand to that knee. Arm out in front, shoulders still down, stretch the spine apart. Exhale, follow your hand around, lifting that back hip slightly as it come around to the twist. Hand near your body on the floor as you stretch up and exhale. Deepen your twist as far as it wants to go for your body today. Take a breath, keeping lifting, keeping exhaling any tension. And when you're ready to release, again, bringing your arm up, shoulder level, as you come back to the center. Take a moment as you get there, feeling that energy through your spine, through your system. Lift your knees and bring the legs out to the front into staff position. Press out through the bottoms of your feet. Toes pulling back, keep those Knees lifting toward your thighs, tightening the front so the backs of your knees get a nice little stretch. And then bring your foot up to your upper thigh of your opposite leg and let your knee come down, letting that hip release. Take a breath, letting the knee come down, exhaling any stress. If it's tight, remember, you can bring that leg over further to the side, but knee and toes stay up. And just... A little weight with your hands if you like, but don't press or push. Just let that hip relax, opening as much as it needs to today. Bring your foot and knee into your hands or pull your arms around and pull the leg in and rotate it back and forth for that lubrication in your outer hip. Take a breath, press and tension out. Keep the shoulders relaxed. If you love it, you can make it more intense with the leg higher or closer or both or not. And then releasing that leg, just take a moment, feeling the difference on the two sides. So of course, we need to balance that and warm the other one up. Foot to your upper thigh, knee coming down on this side. Notice one side may be tighter. Just relax, let it happen. 
Keep the knee and toes up, even if you pull that leg over to the side. Take a breath, just relaxing, letting that hip release a little bit more. Breathe deep, exhale. And bringing your foot and knee into your hands or pulling your arms around to pull that leg in a little closer, just rotate it side to side. Feel the hip getting a little bit easier, maybe a little bit more fully if you love it, or closer and higher with the leg if you like it more intense. And then release that foot. And again, observe how those hips feel now, maybe a little bit longer than they were. Put the bottoms of the feet together, bring those heels toward your body and clasp your hands around your toes. Let the knees come toward the sides just as much as they want. Feel the inner thighs, maybe a little tight. Just let them relax. Knees coming, just dropping as far as they want to go. It's okay wherever they are. And then bring your hands one at a time behind you, right under your shoulders. Fingertips or palms down, whatever works for you. A little pressure into the hands. Lift the heart, drop the shoulders, round to the ceiling. And maybe those inner thighs will release a little further, dropping the knees maybe a little further, if that works today. Never stress or strain it, just let it happen. Chest high, shoulders down, crown stretching away. Feel that spine nice and open. And then bringing your hands back to the front. Lift your knees, bring the legs straight back out into step position, push out through your heels. Take a moment and breathe. And then let's cross your legs, just a comfortable seated position. Bring your chin into that little throat center indentation. Shoulders back and down. Allow the back of your neck to get a nice little stretch. Just relaxing it. And then one hand at a time, bring it to the back of your head, but only put weight there, not pressure. And just feel that stretch maybe deepen a little bit more. Take a breath. Just relaxing, letting the neck get a good stretch all along the back. Keep the rest of the spine as straight as you can. Just working the knee. And then bring your hands back down. Tip your chin back up. Feel the back of your neck a little bit more energized. So let's do the throat, lifting your chin toward the ceiling just slightly. Remember, keep stretching out through the back of the neck, through the base of the skull. So even though you're in a little back bend, you don't want to crunch the back of the neck too much. Move the jaw around, circle it, stretch your face up, pushing your chin forward and pulling it back. Feel that throat getting a little bit of work. And then tip your chin back upright and just notice how that's feeling along your whole throat and neck. I'm going to do the sides of the neck next. So let's just switch our legs around because we want to balance things in the lower body too. And then tip an ear over to one side. Remember, both shoulders stay down. The ear goes toward that shoulder, but it probably will never get there that Makes total sense because those muscles are holding your neck. Bring the hand you're tipping toward up to the side of your hand. So remember, no pressure, just a little weight. Feel that side, maybe stretch a little more with that weight. Don't force it, just let it happen. You can bring the other hand to the floor if you want a little bit more stretch. Take a breath. Exhale again through the lips. Let the stress release. Just allowing that neck to lengthen and And then bringing your hand back down. 
and tipping your head back up. Feel the difference. So we need to do the other direction. And again, tip your ear over to the other side. Just let everything release and relax. Bring the hand you're tipping toward again, just slowly up to the outside of your head, letting it get a little extra weight into the stretch. Don't push or pull or add weight or pressure, just a little gentle addition of your hand. Other hand coming down only if you want a little more stretch. Take a breath. Again, just let it relax. Keep those shoulders both sinking toward the floor. Feel the stretch, let it happen, don't force it. And again, releasing your hands, tip your head back up and feel what's going on through the sides of your neck. And let's once again switch our legs just because we like things balanced. Stretch through the spine, sitting bones slightly down, base of the skull slightly up, and then just the neck is turning as you turn your chin toward one side, only as far as it comfortably goes. Take a breath, just keep lengthening up, keeping those bones separating, deepening if that works for your neck on this side. Keep breathing and relaxing, shoulders staying down, crown reaching up, and turn the chin back to the center. Feel your neck, feel your body, lengthen it again, shoulders down, crown high, as you turn your chin the other direction. And again, only as far as your neck wants to go. Everything facing the front, hips and shoulders still where they were. Take a breath, stretch it out, and exhale to deepen. And when you're ready, stretch up again, and exhale, turning the chin back to the center. And then again, bring the chin into that throat center. Feel the back of the neck stretch. And again, just keep exhaling as you come forward all the way toward the floor. Go as deeply as you want into that forward pivot and hold your breath out as you get down. And then when you're ready to breathe in again, you can at the bottom of your spine, inhaling your way back all the way up. And again, whenever you get to the top, just a slight lift to the chin, a deeper lift to the heart, stretching back out through the base of the skull and the crown behind you. Shoulders dropped. And then inhale back upright. And again, switch your legs. Come into your seated position and put your hands clasped around your knees. We're going to bring those ribs back toward the spine, bringing your forehead down toward the floor, just as deeply as it wants to go. And then rotate over toward one knee, turn looking toward the front as you reach your head toward the side. Lift your head and chest toward the ceiling, or face and head, face and chest toward the ceiling, and then over to the other side, facing the front and facing the floor as you come back to the center. Do that same circuit again, up all the way around to the side, to the back, or high as you go back, over to the side, and again to the front. And then pause there, just letting these shift and straighten, and circle the other way. Over to the side, facing the front, lifting your heart, facing the ceiling. Over to the other side, face the front, the roll facing the floor, coming back to the center. And again, through that circuit, rolling over to the side, lifting up, over to the other side and coming back to the center. Inhale back to your seated position. Again, lift your knees and bring the feet back out into staff. As you get back into staff, just press out through the bottoms of the feet. Feel those backs of the legs stretching along the back of the floor or the base of the floor. 
Ram lifting through the base of the skull and shoulders dropping. Feel your whole body supported with that core activated along your spine. We're going to take the right knee forward and bring that heel over toward your left hip with that knee facing the front, coming into cow's head legs. So get comfortable with those sitting bones. Bring the other knee on top. So what's that? Left knee on top, heels back toward your hips or further out, wherever it's comfortable for you. Yeah, I know it's a little stress and strain through the hips. So we're going to distract. Left knee on top, bring the right arm out to the side, palm toward the ceiling, hand right above your shoulder. Bend the elbow and put your hand right off the base of your neck. And then other hand comes up and pulls that elbow in toward the center of your head and neck. And let the hand slide down the back of your spine. Take your left hand, bend the elbow around, and see if you can clasp your hands behind you. If not, just hold your shirt and bring the hands toward each other. Elbows toward your spine, and then the one that's down pushes toward the floor and the one up pushes toward the ceiling. And make sure you're pushing your head back into that arm in the ear. Otherwise, we tend to round forward. We want to be nice and straight here. Getting those arms just as open through the shoulders as they want to be. So remember, personal practice, whatever's right for you, just exhaling, letting those hips sink as much as they will. If it's too much for your hips, remember, just release it a little bit more. But as we focus on doing those spine and arm things, those hips will automatically release a little bit. Head pushing back, elbows pushing out and toward your spine. And then if you're clasping your hands or holding your shirt, let go, unwind your arms, circle them around a little bit to release that shoulder area. Notice your hips a little bit more relaxed down. Oh, maybe they're not, that's okay and bring your legs back out into staff position. Take a moment, feel your body. And of course, we need to balance it and do the same thing to the other side. So left knee bends out to the front, pulling that heel around and back near your hip. Get it as far toward the front as you can and then stack the other knee as much as possible right above it. Feet going out further, knees separated as much as they need to be to what's right for your body. It is even into the sitting bones, this feels okay for you. And then just relax that lower body, letting it begin working itself in. Right knee on top, left arm out, palm toward the ceiling, arm above your shoulder. Bend that elbow, hand into the middle of your neck. <clears throat> Push the elbow in toward your head and your head in toward that arm. Let the hand slide down your spine. Take the other hand around and again, see if you clasp on this side. Maybe you do, maybe not. It doesn't matter. Hold your shirt if it's not working with your hands. And again, pull the elbows in toward the spine. Push them away from each other. Relax through the shoulders, let that stretch happen. Keep pushing your head back, not rounding through the spine. Nice, straight lengthening up through the crown. Take a breath. As you exhale, just notice your hips may be releasing a little bit as well. And just keep pulling the elbows in, seeing if you can align with the spine. Keep the head pushing back. Keep the upper elbow pushing up and the lower elbow pushing down. Do what's right for your body as much or as little as you need just to get those shoulders working a little bit, but not too much. And feel those hips relax maybe a little bit more as you release those arms. And again, circle the shoulders around, letting everything relax as you again Release your legs back into staff position. Press out through the heels, pull those toes back with the backs of the legs, just relax. Take a stretch up as you breathe in and as you exhale. 
that everything in. And let's dive our dolphin. <clears throat> so bring your foot into that upper thigh of the opposite leg, knee out to the side, then the front knee, and bring the heel back near your other hip. This hip is going to come up because we're going to stretch the spine and exhale, turning toward that first knee. Hands on your leg or the floor, ribs coming back as you exhale, tuck in your chin, dive your dolphin under, exhaling down toward the knee. Face to the front, inhaling crown, rising to the ceiling as you lift your heart to the sun and the sky. And just a couple of times through your range of motion, getting your spine and breath working together, lifting as you come back up. And on an exhalation, turn back to the center, releasing your limbs. As you get back into staff, just feel that energy beginning to move into that meditative center. But we have to balance and go the other way with our dolphins. So let's bring the left foot up to the inner thigh and the right heel back near your hip. Stretch up through the spine, get it nice and open as you exhale to turn toward that left leg. Hands on the leg or the floor, exhale, ribs down back, chin tucking slightly as you bring your forehead down. Face to the front, lift that heart high to the sun and the sky as you come up on the inhalation. Feel your whole body working through that range of motion. And again, on the rise, just lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch the spine out through the base of the skull, exhaling, and again, turning back to the center into step. Feel all that energy moving through you and getting ready to bring your feet to the end of the mat for our final release. Core activated, and just allow your body to slowly roll all the way on to the floor. As your shoulders come down, just bring your hands to T position, palms up or down. We'll just do our little gentle twist. Sitting bones toward your heels, press the back gently down, heels in near your hips, knees straight up. Keep the back down as you lift your feet off the floor, knees above your hips, and we'll roll them to one side, forward and forward. Turn your head toward the opposite arm. So the knees going down, lower back twist, shoulders on the floor, hands, palms up or down, whatever makes that easier for that middle back twist. And head turning as much as you want for that neck area twist. Remember, personal practice, whatever's right for you and your spine. Take a breath. Just allow those knees to deepen as much as your body needs. Heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back, knees above your hips, and of course we're going to go to the opposite side. Knees coming down, turn your head toward the opposite side. And again, just deepen for your twist as much as your body needs. And exhale any tension. Let those knees sink as much as they want, allowing your lower back, middle back, and neck area to twist however much you need from this side. Deep breath in, just exhale, let it relax. And then heels toward your hips again, roll onto your back, bring your feet to the floor, sliding it out, and coming into corpse position for our final relaxation. Shoulders down, hands, palms up, toes together, and then just let them relax. Let your hips and legs release. Lots of lower body work as we sat there on the floor. Deep breath in, exhale, just let your body grow heavy and sink deeper into that surface beneath you. As you fully release and relax into corpse position, just let your body release from your awareness, every part just softening and sinking, letting the earth support you, just let it go. 
As thoughts of your body release from your mind, just know that other thoughts will always come to you. Let them release with all awareness. No need to think of the past or anticipate the future. Just let everything relax, deepening into that surface beneath you. Heavy body just becoming part of the earth. And your mind floating free like the ether, just drifting away without attention. And as your awareness releases both your body and your mind, allow it to turn inward. Find that peace deep within. Feel your body. Feel your mind. And be peace. And keep relaxing as long as you have time today. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, just begin gently moving your body however it feels right for you. And with each breath, Deepening, just stretch your body more fully and completely whenever you're ready to do so. When you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels and your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however it feels right for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate us. You will work. And the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you to do. Thanks for joining me today.